Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Max Holloway and Arnold Allen. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, his 13-fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are going to be able to match what this Hawaiian brings to the team. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability, but it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's doing 100% effort for every strike. He's just touching you, right? But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo fights. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight <laughs> before his UFC and career is he said and done. He wants to beat me. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavyweight champ. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickball. Holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Arnold Almighty Allen! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Push kick there to the body. Fighters engaging in the clinch here early. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Holloway. 
Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. How good is that right hand? Yes. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. All colors high. Nice. Left hand punch from the clinch. Topping his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this room. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice right hand, John. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Misses with the right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Holloway not having it. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh! Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Big punch land. out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big punch lands. Oh, DC. He massive, is massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Holloway's got the full mount. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this time. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Good stick. 
liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Effective punch there by Holloway. Too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so new round, same narrative as he continues to land that hook and. I'm just not sure how many more his opponent can take. His opponent will not be able to take many. In the previous round, he took a number of the same exact strikes, and now you can see it's starting to truly wear on him. Oh, nice right hand. That shot is blocked by Holloway. Oh, oh massive diving punch, plus to the head. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just over three minutes to go. Left hand punch to the clinch. Hook shots to the body here, working in the clinch. Nice punch by Holloway. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Just misses with the right. on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max Bliss Holloway. Oh, and there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.